In this video, we are going to look at properties of division of integers. Let me just write integers here. So whatever set that we are going to look at is the set of integers and we will perform division and we will come out with interesting properties. Very first property that I can think of is closure property. So what is closure again? Closure is when you choose any two numbers from the given set and divide them. Do you get a number in the same set? Now I'll just quickly write the set of integers here. So integer set I, some negative numbers that I need to write, then zero and some positive numbers and then dot dot dot. So this is how we can write integers and then we can choose any two numbers and see once we divide them, do we get a number from integer set. Let me choose one and minus two. So let's say one divided by minus two. We can write this as minus one by two. Is this an integer? Not an integer. So an integer set doesn't follow closure under division. I'll just put this sign here. You could choose any other two numbers. Just remember that we cannot divide any number by zero. Whenever you choose any two numbers, make sure that you should not divide by zero. So you should not do something like this two divided by zero. So let's not do this. All right, let's go to the next property. We already saw closure is not followed under integer set for division. And now we want to see whether the commutative property is followed. So what is commutative property? So whenever you choose any two numbers from integer set, say something like 10 divided by two, right? So it's like saying 10 toffees being distributed among two people. So everybody will get five toffees, but is it equal to 2 divided by 10? Is it? It is not because the meaning completely changes. It's like dividing two toffees among 10 people and the answer would be different than what it would be when we divide 10 by 2. So this is not equal and therefore whenever we have two numbers a divided by b, if it is not equal to b divided by a, we say commutative property is not followed and therefore we can say division is not commutative for integers. Now there is another property called associative property. This is just a kind of an extension for the commutative property when it comes to division. Let me just discuss that. So in associative property, we choose three numbers. Let me just write it here. So let's say we have three numbers. I'll just write associative, associative property. So we will have three numbers, for example, 10 divided by five divided by two. So now we use brackets like this. And the question is whether this is equal to 10 divided by five divided by two when the brackets are placed for another pair of numbers. Now this is two divided by two because we will perform the operation in brackets first and this will give us one. But here 10 divided by five divided by two is 2.5. And so this will give us four. And so these two things are not equal. And so we can say that division is not associative for integers as well. Okay, let's go ahead and see some special numbers for division. And these special numbers are called as zero for division and identity for division. So now what is a zero for division? Zero for division is a special number dividing which will always give us zero. So the fourth thing that we want to talk about is a zero of division under integers. So zero for division is a number zero itself. Why? Because once you divide zero by any number, say 99, you will always get zero. So zero divided by five will be zero. Zero divided by minus three will be zero. So every time you get the output zero and that's why zero of division is the number zero. Now there is another special number and that's an identity for division under integers and the identity is basically a number which you which you can use in the division operation returns the same number identity in division for integers and this is going to be some number some number a so that you divide any given number say let's say 65 divided by a gives you 65 itself. If you divide any number say minus 10 by a, it will give us minus 10. Can you think of such number? Yes, yes, yes. 
it's one isn't it if you replace a with one if you divide any number by one you are going to get the same number and therefore this a or the identity in division is one that just means that once you divide any number by one you get the same number and these are few important properties for division let's just revise first we discussed closure property and we saw that division is not closed under integer set so a divided by b is not always an integer given that a and b are integers then we saw commutative property once you choose two integers a and b a divided by b is not always equal to b divided by a then we came to associative property so if you choose three integers a b and c then in bracket a divided by b bracket complete divided by c is not equal to a divided by in bracket b divided by c bracket complete then we came to zero of division which is basically a number which when divided by any integer returns zero and such number is zero itself because zero divided by any integer is zero note that in any of these properties the number with which you are dividing by cannot be zero right lastly we looked at identity in division which is a number by which when you divide any integer you get the same integer and that is one 